Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn the chapter shapes and angles, and our today's topic is circle. So, first of all, what is circle? The circle. At first, suppose I am taking a fixed point on the plane surface. and we will take some points which are equidistant from the fixed point here i am taking some points which are equidistant from the fixed point now if i join these points with a curved line then i will get a circle so a circle is a collection or set of points in a plane that are equidistant from a given point the fixed point on the plane is called the center of the circle and the total curved line is called the circumference is called the circumference of the circle now the distance from the fixed point that is the center of the circle to any point on the circle this distance is called the radius of the circle this distance is called the radius of the circle and if i take a line starting from one end of a circle through the center to the other end of the circle that line is called the diameter of the circle that line is called the diameter of the circle so what is circle a circle is a set of points on a plane which are equidistant from a fixed point which are equidistant from a fixed point the fixed point on the plane is called the center of the circle and the total curved surface curved line is called the circumference of the circle the distance from the center of the circle to the circumference of the circle is called the radius of the circle and the distance from one end on the from the circle through center to the other end of the circle is called the diameter of the circle now you just see here i have carted a paper in the shape of a circle it is a circular shape now if i fold it now if you fold it and make a scratch then you will get what you will get a line here so this line is called the diameter of the circle now now fold it along diameter now again fold it in this way if you again fold it then when you unfold it you will get here is the diameter 
diameter here is another diameter and these two diameter is these two diameter intersect in a point this point is called the center of the circle this point is called the center of the circle the distance from center of the circle to the circumference it is called the radius of the circle and the distance from one end from the circle through center to the other end of the circle is called the diameter of the circle the distance from one end of the circle through center to the other end of the circle is called the diameter of the circle now you can see it is the diameter of the circle it is the center so from here this is a radius from here this is a radius so we can write a diameter is equals to 2 into radius diameter equals to 2 into radius it is the relation between diameter and radius diameter is equals to 2 into radius because the total diameter if I <coughs> from the center this part is a radius from the center this part is a radius so one diameter is equals to 2 radius so diameter is equals to 2 into radius now if i draw a circle and join any two points on the circle the line what I get that line is called the chord that line is called the chord in a circle there are infinitely many chord in a circle there are infinitely many chord we have drawn one diameter now you can see the diameter is also a line connecting two points on the circle that is diameter is also a chord but what is the speciality the speciality is diameter is the longest chord of the circle diameter is the longest chord of the circle just remember this point this point is very important if the question comes in this way which is the longest chord of the circle then you have to write the diameter is the longest chord of the circle so these are the different parts of the circle radius here the fixed point is called the center from the fixed point to the one end of the circle is called the radius normally we are denoting radius by small r and we are denoting diameter by small d so as we know the diameter equals to 2 into radius so 2 into r so what is the relation between diameter and radius diameter d equals to 2 into radius so d is equals to 2 r now we have to write some definitions on the circle now 
you have to write some definitions first of all circle a circle is the set of points in a plane that are equidistant from a given point center the fixed point inside the circle is called the center of the circle next circumference the length of the curved line is called the circumference of the circle radius the distance from the center of a circle to any point on the circumference is called the radius of the circle normally we are denoting radius by small r next diameter the longest distance from one end of a circle to the other end through center is called the diameter next chord the line joining any two points in the circle any two points on the circle is called the chord diameter is the longest chord of the circle so these are the uh these are the definitions you have to write if you want write the definitions in your class work copy now i am drawing a circle here this is the center of the circle denoted by o and drawing a line a here here b here c here d here e now what is the center center of the circle is o what is the radius radius of the circle is oa what is the diameter diameter is bc chord here you can see how many chords are here two chords i am showing here one is de another one is bc because we know that diameter is the longest chord of the circle so these are some parts of the circle and now suppose the radius is given 4 cm radius is given 4 cm we have to find out the diameter so what is the diameter diameter as we know diameter equals to 2 into radius the relation is 2 into radius so this equals to 2 into radius is 4 cm so 4 to the 8 cm so in this way if radius is given you have to find out you can find out the diameter of the circle similarly reversely if suppose diameter is given diameter equals to suppose 8.6 cm you have to find out the radius so what will be the radius of the circle diameter is equals to 2 into radius so reversely radius equals to 
you can also write the formula radius equals to diameter by 2 diameter divided by 2 so radius there will be 8.6 divided by 2 centimeter then you will get 4.3 centimeter by dividing 8.6 by 2 you will get 4.3 centimeter so in this way if radius is given we can find out the diameter if diameter is given we can find out the radius now we have to find out we have to do some homework number one you can see here one picture has given of the circle and different parts are showing you have to find out the center radius diameter and chord of the circle next question number two calculate diameter for each radius given below here some radiuses are given you have to find out the diameter number one Number A, 5 cm, B, 3.5 meter, C, 9 cm, D, 2.5 feet, E, 3 by 5 cm. Number 3, calculate radius for each diameter given below. Here the length of diameters are given. You have to find out the radius of the circle. Number A, 8 cm. Number B 14 cm, number C 13 cm, number B 5 by 8 feet, number E 7 meter. So complete this homework in your class of work.